been friends with our next guest for a long time, and to be honest, it's sort of like being best friends with Dracula. <laughs> Starting March 1st, he'll be replacing Billy Joe Armstrong in American Idiot on Broadway. Give it up for AFI and Black Audio frontman Davey Havoc! Hello. Congratulations, man. Mark, thank that you. That is so awesome. When I first found out about it, I thought I couldn't think of a better person for the role. I appreciate that so much. I am so, so elated. How did this all come about? Billy asked me. He is finishing his run in, uh, in February this month. Mm -hmm. He finishes at the end of this month, and he asked me to come and uh, fill in for him for a bit. Being from L.A., are you going to actually move out to New York? Or I'm gonna... not from L.A. Where are you from? Get out of here. Oh, you're from San Francisco. I'm from Oakland. <laughs> Oakland, sorry. Jeez. <laughs> I'm okay. from Berkeley. All right, that's right. But I do spend a lot of time in L.A. So right. go ahead. What's your question? So, I don't start... live here. Go ahead. Okay, Same take, question. take two. Being from Oakland as you are, yes, are you going to actually move out to New York? Um, I will be living here, of course, during the whole performance. Um, and living in New York is something that I also have always wanted to do. The amount of times that I've said out loud, how great would it be to live in New York and be on Broadway is countless. I mean, it, I've said that since I was a child, and now I'm doing it. And so um, I don't know if I'll be staying longer mm -hmm. after, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. I think the first time that you and I met was a long time ago on a tour. We played some shows with you. The bill was Blink-182 opening, yes. AFI, and the Vandals headlining. Yes, that's my claim to fame, by the way. What's that? Is that Blink open for us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're known for being, uh, AFI especially, is known for being a little dark and very intense. Uh, what were you like at 14? Uh, same. Really? Same? Yeah. Um, I read that your teacher thought that you worshipped Satan. This is true. This was eighth grade, um, and my parents got called into a teacher's conference, and the, uh, the sister said his grades are excellent, but we're really concerned. Uh, we, I, am, I am pretty positive your son worships the devil. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so my mom comes home, and she said, you know, the, the, you, you listen to all this dark music. There's these people covered in blood on your walls, and you know, uh, I, I don't understand. I, you know, I used to draw pentagrams on, <laughs> on, my, on, my, on my binders and stuff. Of course. And, you know, suicidal tendencies, yeah. and you know, the whole thing. And so, um, <clears throat> so she had this video cassette, and she said that the sister wanted me to watch the video cassette. I said, "What is it?" She said, "Well, it, it talks about like." It talks about ACDC and Ozzy Osbourne and the Dead Kennedys and, awesome. and the Butthole Surfers. Exactly. I said, that is awesome. I want to watch that. That sounds great. The Circle Jerks are on here? Fantastic. You turn me on to Fisher Spooner. You turn me on to uh, Eamon Tobin. Uh, oh, what new stuff are you listening to? Um, uh, do you know uh, Uis the Swimming Pool? Uh, yeah. That was my attempt at French. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they're, they're called Uis the Swimming Pool. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the Swimming Pool? Uh, they're a really great synth pop band from Sweden, I believe. Uh, someone might correct me if I'm wrong. Unfortunately, at um, a festival recently, the singer committed suicide. He, he jumped from the tower. Have you played? Oh, I was at that festival. Blink-182 played that festival. Okay, that festival, the singer killed himself. It's a shame you didn't get to see him before he did that. Oh. It was. Um, it's really unfortunate. The, the record is really great. It's very, very good synth pop, um, kind of reminiscent of of Alphaville. Now you don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. That's that's correct. What the f is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. I am part of the straight edge movement. Uh, I had an aversion to uh, the drug culture from a very young age, and when I discovered the movement called straight edge, I was astounded. Um, you know, it's it, it lacked <clears throat> dogma or a deity. It was it was simply you know res based on respect for yourself and respect for others while being involved in the hardcore scene. And on top of that, you're a vegan. And in mm -hmm. fact, in 2007, you were voted the world's sexiest vegetarian. That's nice. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Thank uh, you. How do you take advantage of that title? I was disappointed that I didn't receive like a trophy of a golden carrot or a tofu <laughs> wearing a little bikini <laughs> right. or something like that. You know. But um, so far, just this. Just this? Just, awesome. Yeah, just this. Now, because you're about to hit Broadway, we sent a camera crew out to the Great White Way to let your future audience ask you some questions. Are you ready to answer some of these questions? All right. All right, let's roll let's it! Let's go. 
I want to fit in with the crowd of your show. What should I wear? Wear what you're wearing. Yeah, I don't think she has a You choose. already <laughs> fit in. You look fantastic. As long as that's faux. If that's not faux, you might get some gum stuck in it by me if you show up at American Idiot. But um, I, if that's not faux, I won't be pouring any paint on you. And I'd say, go ahead and wear what you have. Y awesome. You look fantastic. What would you do with my bra after I threw it on stage? My, thank you. Wow, what that's a nice a good, thought. That is a good question. It would not, um, it would not be the first bra, I suppose. But it, I have not received many bras. Have you? I have received, received, a, I've received yeah. a fair share of bras. Yeah, yeah. And, um, no. and my go-to move is to look at the size and either congratulate or belittle the person who threw it up on stage ah. based on the bra size. I think what I would do to answer your question, uh, young lady, is to. <clears throat> hang it with the, uh, in, in the dressing room, uh, Billy has a collection of dried flowers. Any bras will be hung with the, with the dried flowers. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to bring a date to your show. How do I get my money's worth, if you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. <laughs> These women are out of control. I know what you mean. I think you should be getting your money's worth if, your date, if you're bringing a date to a musical. Right. I think, I think that, that demands compensation. The sexiest vegetarian alive right here, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Thank you so much, baby. No I think you're going to kill it out there. Thanks, I think Mark. it's an awesome opportunity. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. You. Everybody give it up for Davey Havoc. Catch him starting March 1st in American Idiot on Broadway. And stick around, because when we come back, our panel will solve the riddle of why so many pop songs sound the same. Don't go anywhere. Really so, Honestly, that's so